Chicago is like Rome. Sometimes we have a great emperor and sometimes we have a mediocre emperor and whatever, you know, you can pick the emperors. In a lunchtime speech today, mayoral candidate Paul Vallis argued for giving Chicago City Council more power to restrain future mayors inclined to act like emperors. And he rejected several ethical allegations raised by incumbent Lori Lightfoot's campaign. Our political editor Mike Flannery joins us now uh, from the newsroom with more. Mike? Well, Anthony and Natalie, among other things, uh, Paul Vallis explained why he's now accepting contributions from a former school board member whose contributions he returned four years ago. But four years ago, there were certain accusations made against her, and we weren't aware of how legitimate those accusations were. I also didn't want to put her on the spot and, and you know, make her the focus. Um, this time around, the campaign's very comfortable that there was no wrongdoing. And, you know, she has a reputation for being very active in school reform. Wealthy investment banker Deborah Quazzo ended up leaving the school board uh, four years ago after the Sun-Times reported that companies she had an ownership interest in were doing business with the Chicago Public Schools while she was on the board. Vallis returned a $500 contribution then. This year, he's reported receiving $17,500 from her and her husband. Because, Vallis says, he's determined they did nothing wrong while she was serving on the Board of Ed. Ballas said he expects to face many attacks from Mayor Lightfoot. She needs to, to have an enemy. She needs to, to, to have a candidate that she thinks she can run against. And, and regardless of the, that candidate's record, she's going to try to paint that candidate so that that candidate fits her narrative. Her problem is she's been notorious about either ignoring the facts or misrepresenting the facts or sometimes lying about the facts uh, when they do not fit her narrative. Vallis today was speaking to the uh, City Club of Chicago, uh, talking about uh, public safety and economic development. I'm political editor Mike Flannery. All right.